Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. This is Andrew coming to you from beautiful Costa Rica in the middle of a thunderstorm here. It's massive lightning everywhere around me. So I just jumped outside uh, because of my work situation. So I came outside to shoot a video. Sorry about being late. I apologize. Uh, I'm back on track. The reason for these videos being late recently have been because I'm uh, back in the office. So uh, I was working from home previously. Guys, today's topic is going to be the firsts. Okay, if you like the topic, please subscribe. Thank you. Guys, post narcissistic relationship after that, after you've uh, after you've you've gone through everything and you understand what's going, wh what you went through and you you processed everything. Um, I'm not saying you're healed yet, but you're working on it and you're you're doing your best, like as you do because you're on the channel. Um, what happens? Sorry, I'll go like that. What happens is you're going to find out that there's going to be a whole bunch of firsts that you need to go through. What that means is, for example, the very first time you sleep in the bed alone after the narcissist. The very first time you go to the store. That's what I'm telling you, there's a real storm. The very first time you go to the store. The very first time that you, um, you, you know, maybe you go to, you go to um, we'll take a walk, things like that. So you have a whole bunch of firsts. So for me personally, and, and I'm not going to throw as much personal content in after this one, but the first for me this week was a big one because I had to go back to the office for the first time in 17 months. And I, as I mentioned previously, I was used to coming home to a house full of life, uh, kids and everything. And so Monday was my first day back at work and I did not. Uh, I was empty, of course, as you know. And the point is, is when you, I'm thinking about this and I'm doing so much better than Monday because yesterday was better, today is so much better. But when you go through these firsts, it's very difficult because, and these are hurdles you have to process, you have to go through them. It's part of life. It's part of the post-narcissistic relationship. Go back in time, Let, let's remove the narcissist for a minute. You know, when you were a kid, you went to first grade, right? Or kindergarten or whatever class it was, that was the first time for you and you were, you know, nervous or anxious or however you were. It, for me, and I'm guessing for most of you guys, it's kind of the same thing post-narcissist because you're doing things but you're doing things that you used to do with the narcissist and these are now, um, you're doing them alone. And every time you do a first, it's, um, it's a little confusing and it can be frustrating and it can be saddening and eye-opening and, and that's when you, for me at least, that's when I get a, bunch, a, a flood of emotions and things coming at me, you know, it's like, wow, we used to do that, that, that. Yeah, I'm 10 months out, but it still happens. I, I believe it's gonna happen for a long time. But I'm processing this and I'm figuring out what, how things are. So the first for me when I opened the door on Monday, it was difficult, very difficult. Tuesday was a little bit better. I'm sure today will be much better. But these are, this is just part of the healing path. And I have to tell you from my personal experience over the last three days, the getting out of the house, and I tell you guys all the time, if you can get out, get out. Go for a walk, run, exercise, meet new friends. I know the situation, the world, climate we're in, it's a little difficult. But the point being is get out and do things if you can. So for me personally, like I, like I said, Monday I had been in the house by myself for 10 months, isolated and all these things, but that was my choice for the most, that was my choice because that was my healing path. Work was a different issue. I, I was uh, working from home for their reasons, but now they want me back in the office, which is where I am. And that just opened my eyes to everything. Like there is a huge, huge world out there. It's not just about you being in the house and, and doing what you're doing. Again, for me personally, I had to take the path I took. I wouldn't change it for the world. It allowed, meaning me being home and, and uh, isolated during those 10 months was extremely difficult. But now, looking back, that's when I, I, I devoted all my time and energy into myself. And I'm doing it every day, believe me. Not a day goes by, I don't do this for hours. But I knew what was best for me and I followed my instincts and that's what it was. It was staying home and just dealing with my issues the way I did. So firsts, getting back on track, on topic, you're gonna find many firsts in life in general, but after the narcissist relationship, you're gonna find many firsts. Like, let's pretend this one, and uh, this has nothing to do with me because I'm not ready, not even close to being dating anybody. But for may maybe many of you, it's gonna be loud. Two, one. cut this video kind of short because the bad, bad rainstorm but maybe you're in the dating pool maybe you went out on a date and you're comparing that person to the narcissist or you're ruminating thinking about you know I used to do this I would do that and things like that that's natural you guys it's just the way it goes it just it's just telling you you're not fully healed from the narcissist 
um, and you still have some, some healing to do, and that's great. That's what you do. You should be working on yourself every time. But I'm not suggesting not go out into the dating pool. Do what's best for you. Do what you think is best. But understand that all these firsts that you will have, there are a lot of them. I only have, have I haven't hit that many of them yet, but getting out of my house and coming to the office and engaging and interacting with my work uh, workmates or work, whatever you call them, uh, coworkers, it's been enlightening. It really has. It's opened doors for me. It's, it's helped me in so many ways that I can't even describe right now in this video in the middle of a rainstorm. Guys, this is a quick video. I just want to let you know there will be many firsts. Many, many. And the healing path, like I say, we're all on the same path, just taking different footsteps. And we're all headed in the same direction, which is enlightenment, empowerment, being the authentic version of you and being genuine, and knowing that your boundaries need to be built and being the best version of you possible every day. Guys, it's really starting to rain here. I love you all, God bless you. I'm sorry for the video being late, but I'm gonna shoot one when I get home and get back on track. And thank you for all the well wishing from everybody. I'm just had a couple difficult bad, not bad, a couple difficult days. I'm back on track. I love you all from beautiful and rainy thunderstorm Costa Rica. I'll talk to you soon. God bless you. You guys are my family. I love you more than anything. Thank you very much. Remember, you're gonna have many firsts. I love you, bye.